Hey guys, I decided to start doodling with my most hated marker colors. And that's F01. But I also hate F04. They're my highlight colors. And I've never tried to put them in anything. I've just swatched and kind of threw up in my mouth. But I did use it. And this looks sick. Now, did I, did I put like full attention and tried? Not really. This is just a doodle. But I think she looks sick. So I thought it would be a fun idea if we kept drawing her. And eventually we'll get to F01, that yellow highlight color, you know, the one that you were studying with in high school. I do not look forward to that. But for now, F04. And usually when we have good ideas like that, I wanna try, I wanna make this look as pretty as I can. I kinda like how rough and sketchy it looked. Like it adds to the character, like it's part of her personality. So this time we're not we're not gonna go too crazy. Now I did make her cross-eyed in the sketch first. You see that I it is completely looking at the other one, but I fixed it. <laughs> no worries. I think that's a really good exercise to see what you come up with. If you're allowed to make something ugly, allowed to make something that's not gonna look good. That well, at least that's for me because for F04, especially as F01. I was like, I don't think I can create anything good with this. I don't think I'm gonna be in love, but I should try. It's crazy to only have markers that you've only swatched. So you know, I wanted to challenge myself, maybe laugh at what I created. I'm not laughing now, she's gorgeous. Ain't no jokes here. <laughs> I think everything about this design is fun. I like that it's rough and sketchy. I like the crazy hair, how it doesn't have a definite shape. I like this funky color now. F04 is cool with me, man. What? Doesn't this look like the most fun character? It's so interesting. I think that if you put her in a lineup, if she was just a background character, she would still catch my eye. I also feel like it looks best when you don't fill it in with the marker all the way, like little patches. Or like spots that you didn't fill in. Just adding a few more details because I feel like everything's kind of blending in. But for the most part, your girl is happy. She's got a funky little pantsuit on. We're gonna leave her little sleeves alone. She's done. I think that she's a set character. Now, if anything, we need to start on F01 because let me tell you, I don't like it. <laughs> that swatch is ugly. Yo, okay, so for this one, you see me drawing a lemon. Because I didn't know what I wanted or what would even look good. I don't like the swatch color, and I didn't want to give it like a boring design on top of that. So I was like, okay, I do bangs all the time. I always do straight hair. What can I, what can I do? So I drew the lemon as a reference. I was like, maybe I can take like inspiration from that. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. But it helped me realize that I'm taking this too seriously. I don't I don't need to love the swatch. I just gotta do something with it. Let's just see how this goes. Let's have fun, you know what I'm saying? Cause that was stressing me out for two seconds. So no thoughts, head empty approach. I knew that I had to outline the face. That's what we're gonna work on. We don't care, we don't care. I did bring in backup colors. For F01, I have 33, 35. I even brought in this cream color. They're all from a hoo hoo. Actually, I think one is from Upgrade Skin Tone. It's the cream one. But all I gotta do is work on this. Whew. Yeah, work on that face, cause she is sour like a lemon. That was a jump scare, y'all. So what I'm doing right now is drawing two little stick people. And I'm gonna figure out, do I want this ungodly yellow color to be skin or to be hair? It's that simple. So we got our little stick man, he's shrugging. I don't know. And then I picked out this gold color, it's 33. Cause I think, I think that dark skin and light hair, or light hair and dark skin, you know that's my combination. That's, he don't know either. I think that that's not really, that's not really the vibe for me. We're gonna choose the second one, dark skin it is. I ended up choosing this bushy hair because I always draw bangs that, I mean, they always turn out cute, which is why I always choose them. But we decided we're gonna do, we're gonna do 
no bangs and bushy thick hair because I think I do like thin and down her back all the time now I want it sticking out defying gravity and now I thought that it was suspicious that I was starting to like this color I was like what it's not even the color, it's like this, this character in general. I was like, why am I warming up to this so fast? And it looks good to me and everything. And then I thought to myself, don't I have an OC that looks like this? You better already know I'm coming with receipts. Okay, don't, don't even look at the rest of them. They're just, I'm fleshing out a character. But this one is a set character. And I was like, is that her? No, they don't really look alike. I mean, I even redrew her over here. Yeah. You know what? Never mind. I guess they do look okay. Somehow I failed to realize that she has a wandering eye. I did not draw them going the same direction. What? This looks better over there. So the issue that I was having is that that's the same color. 33, that's the same color for her hair. And that's giving me a flashback. But they don't look alike. So don't. Just, just ignore all of that. I am interrupting this video for a sketchbook tour. So, these were the ideas for my cowgirl OCs. They're sisters. This was the original design. Dark skin, red hair, but I decided to go with the yellow. And none of these are the original designs except for the one I showed you. I love this one right here. She's so beautiful. She's not a cowgirl. I just think she's beautiful. <laughs> I don't have time to talk about everybody, but I do have time to show you them. Those three are sisters. Oh, I love them. My favorite hands down design. Not an Oopaloopa, just beautiful. Does anybody remember Show by Rock? Choo Choo? I can't, there's better drawings of her, but does anybody remember that show? Nobody ever talks about it. And like, I watched it for so long. I have that video, that picture of her on TikTok. But like, everyone remembers Choo Choo. And we're back, slight detour, you know, but, but back on schedule, we outlined the hair. She's got lips now. No harm, no foul. Let's start with the next person, yeah? Then I actually really like how that turned out. I think she's a beautiful stone cold beauty. She reminds me of somebody, I don't know who. If it's not nosy, I don't know. But she's so pretty that I wanna draw her again. Make sure she's not a little fluke or something. I think she's beautiful. And that big hair, like I think that's like such a fun characteristic. I can totally see her as like a saloon girl in the Midwest. I watch a lot of westerns with my grandpa. He likes Gunsmoke and Wyatt Earp and Bat Masterson. That's who she reminds me of, Kissing Kate Barlow from Freaking Holes. I love that movie. Anyway, <laughs> I just wanted to show this design. I think this is the cutest design in my whole sketchbook. They're also sisters and very sketchy. Hold on to your wallets. Actually, no, we're not done talking about this. Kissing Kate Marlowe, she, she had the best plot. Sam the Onion Man, and I can fix that, made my childhood. Stanley Yelnance did nothing, it was all Kate. She carried that movie on her back to glory. Okay, that minor tangent aside, I hate when I do this. Outlining second is, is just so risky. I, I do not believe in coloring it in and then outlining it because what if what if this didn't turn out as good as it did? I mean, it absolutely didn't turn out well and I got lucky. But you know, if I would have messed that up, I'd be mad. Also, it smeared the outline, so I turned it into a scar. I think that looks sick. There is nothing better than a beautiful woman who could literally kick your butt. You know what I mean? She's, she's G.I. Jane. She's everything I want and more. I'm actually having so much fun with F-01 that I completely miss F-04. I don't even think I had this much fun making F-04, so we're gonna rectify that. This sketch, I can already feel, is gonna turn out beautiful, but you can't be fooled. The only thing that really matters is how it looks once you ink it. Look at that face. Sometimes I just, you know what? Maybe it's because I did a warm up. Is that it? You have to warm up your wrist before you start drawing because 
I feel like I lost detail in that, actually. I feel like I should mourn the loss of some of the detail in her face. Also, I change things a lot whenever I'm like inking versus sketching. I made her eyebrows turn up a little bit because I like the worried look. I did this to myself. I don't hate it, but I'm not as in love as before. Just like that, all is forgiven. This is the funkiest color, and I'm here for it. She's suddenly back to being a party animal. I, I adore it. Who would have thought that F04, the color that I've neglected for years, this marker is full, full of juice because this is her first debut being used. Who would have thought I'd fall in love like this? I'm just, I adore it. <laughs> Also, I feel like black lips are a power move. There was there was a, a Batman show where all the females had black lips and I was I ate that up as a kid. I absolutely ate that up. All the baddies had black lips and I looked forward to it every single time. I am a naturally indecisive person, but I think when it comes to art, it's such a good trait because I keep thinking, what if? So we gave this girl, our F04 girl, short hair, we adored it, but I was like, what if it's long? What if she trades the, the design with the other girl? Now, I'm not doing the other girl with short hair. I absolutely know that that's a tragedy waiting to happen, but this one? This one, for scientific purposes, we gotta go for it. We gotta see what's happening. I also feel like maybe this is like a, a large inspiration from like Dolly Parton too, cause she had big hair. She absolutely, I love Dolly Parton. Yeah, maybe it's not kissing Kate, maybe it's just Dolly. Maybe. Maybe colors have like different feelings that they invoke or something, but I feel like even though they have the same design now, she does not have the same vibe as the F01 girl. Or maybe it's because I gave her that scar that she feels like a hint of danger and the fact that she was like scowling so bad. But this one seems sweet and maybe even a little maternal. Am I making this up? Absolutely. But I feel like she could be like that librarian. You know what I mean? Back in the day, that was a that was a large trope. The pretty librarian that like tries to get people into like reading and stuff. And the local kids think that she's the prettiest thing on earth, so they're willing to crack open a book for her. I also feel like she she could absolutely be athletic. I don't know, I think I like taking characters with like super feminine energy, the epitome of like girlhood and, and beauty, and making them like baseball players. You know what I mean? Or like making them fix cars. And something that makes you go, really? Again, I like to attribute this to probably the Justice League. I, did anybody else watch Justice League Unlimited growing up? Because I feel like they had like a huge impact on me growing up. After this finished product, I'm not even gonna lie to you, I can't draw another version of this. I'm not topping this design. I'm just not. I love her. Clearly she's an OC. We have to see her again. I, th I think it's safe to say that I like F04 now. And, and it's really sad that I never used it before today. Yeah. Now the question is, do I like that other color? The highlighter color. I mean, it, it definitely, it definitely sets it off and it makes it really pretty. So maybe, maybe I do like that color. Maybe I like my highlight colors now. It's so crazy because I used to hate them. Like I swatched them once and then they rotted with the other markers for years. 
never saw the light of day. Now the question is, do I like the short hair version or lo you know what? No, 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 we're not doing that. Nah, the short and long version, they can be just her in a different stage of life. But thank you guys for watching. We did it again. You know, I'm starting to think everything we come up with turns to gold.